Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm Bishop Roger Andrew to the the Harvest Time Apostolic Ministries. We're located at 10022 South Broadway in the beautiful city of Los Angeles. Our Sunday morning worship service starts at 11 30. It's a Tuesday noonday prayer and Bible study and a 7 30 evening Bible study. You're welcome to any and all services. If you're sitting there and you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, you do not have a place to call home, a place to worship God in the beauty of holiness. Come on out to Harvest Time Apostolic Ministries. Again, that address is 10022 South Broadway. If you need directions or if you need, uh, if you have a prayer request, you can give me a call. Bishop Raji makes that toll free number is 888 294 7708. If you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube and you do, you have not made your calling and election is sure, if you're not sure where you will spend eternity, you have not repented of your sins. If you have not been baptized in the name of Jesus, if you have not received the gift of the Holy Ghost, give me a call, Bishop Raja Gaines. Let us read the word of God together. Amen. Again, that toll-free number is 888-294-7708. After we spoken, and after you come out and praise God with us, I know you say it was good for me to have been here. Somebody give God a quick prayer. Sister Crystal 
I'm in your prayers as I she uh, texts me. She's not feeling well. Amen. She says that she did this thing said they said this would be the last Sunday I missed. She said, but I woke up not feeling well. My body feels like it's on fire. I said, well, this is the place you should have been. There's healing in the house. I'm trying to get people to understand when you're sick. That's not really the time to stay home. That's the time you need to come out. Amen. But it's a message for another time. Amen. In, the, in, um, in Psalms, the 18, 1 and 18 division, the Bible reads, The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can a man do unto me? The Lord taketh my part with him that helpeth me. Therefore shall I see my desires upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put their confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put your confidence in princes. All nations have passed about me, me about, but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. They can pass about me, yea, they can pass me about. But in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They can pass me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of, of thorns. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Thou hast thrust sore at me. That I might fall, but the Lord help me. May God have a blessing to the reader, to the hearer of his word. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you even right now. God, I thank you, uh, God, that you have never left us, you've never forsaken us, oh God. You've been with us, oh God, always, always. And God, we cannot remember a time, oh God, that we needed you that you have not met our needs. Now, God, I thank you that your spirit is in this place. God, I just, oh God, ask you, God, allow me to decrease that God might increase in me. Let them see, oh God, but God in me. God, speak with power and authority. Now, say that I serve you. Notice you're a defeated foe. You cannot live here. The blood of Jesus is against you in the name of Jesus. Now, God, as for your man, sir, and I ask clarity of thought, position, concerning speech. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength, my firm and impenetrable rock, and my redeemer. And all that love God say, Amen. Amen. Come on, put your hands together just one more time. Hallelujah. For a companion scripture out of the book of Romans in the familiar portion of God's word out of the book of Romans it says what shall we then say to these things how glory if God be for us okay who can be against us if God be for us where we're going to speak from on today. Our topic, our title is If God Be For Us Who Can Be Against Us? Uh, it's one thing, amen, uh, it's, it's like being in a fight, amen, and knowing, amen, that you have the upper hand. It's going into a fight almost that is know that it's fixed. Uh, you can all, you already know the outcome. In fact, amen. I can remember there was a time, amen, that when Mike Tyson was fighting, amen, we really didn't turn on the two because we felt like we already knew the outcome because when Mike, Mike walked to the, the ring and he looked so nimbusing, amen, he didn't even have a shirt on and no socks, he just walked in the ring and his 
trunks with his shoes on and he had a scowl on his face and he looked like he was ready to bite the head off of your dog. And so, amen, when he got into the ring, the opponent uh, was instantly fearful because they saw his menacing face. And I got so, so many times the fight was over before it began. Well, I have to speak to you today because I have so many folks that I've talked to, amen, uh, uh, over the last few days. It seemed like they are ready to throw in the towel. Uh, I got, I'm not talking about folks who are in the world. I'm talking about church folks, uh, folks who have been blood washed, blood purchased, gone down in the water in Jesus' name, came up and speaking in other tongues, amen, prophesying, oh God,
of the 17th chapter. And David said to Saul, let no man's heart be because of me. You can't let yourself, you can't look at the enemy and let the enemy know.
you're not a prayer warrior. <laughs> you got to use the weapons that God has placed in you. Yes. But here was Saul. It said, let me shoot you, O David, and get you ready for battle. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. <laughs> and when David put on Saul's armor, <laughs> it was big, it was clumpy. <laughs> He had to pick five stones. He couldn't. 